I had a, I used to live in Israel and I had a, an apartment over there. And on top of me, there was a bunch of Yeshiva Bachim. And every Thursday night, they used to learn in the apartment and make a lot of noise. And when Rebbe just spoke about Gezel Shana, I wanted to know if I can go, if I would, in that situation, go over to somebody and tell them, stop learning. You're making too much noise. You're causing too much trouble. And right now, it's not the right time. Find uh, different bismedrash to learn or something like that. And, you know. Well, I tell the boys in yeshiva exactly that. They have something in the base of medrash. It's a dormitory in yeshiva. They have dorm. Boys are trying to sleep, especially Thursday night, but a mishmer. I tell them, and sometimes they want to stay awake. So they learn real loud to keep them awake. But now they keep themselves awake while they're learning. They keep the other guys awake trying to sleep. I said, it's a mitzvah bo ba'avera. Like it's a mitzvah, doing what was sinning by doing a mitzvah. It's not a mitzvah. By keep, keeping the other people awake, it, it's a, you're not allowed to do that. Like you say, either you have to learn softly or find a different place to learn. But it's not right. If some people want to say, okay, let them learn, I'll, I'll sacrifice and I won't sleep so good. Okay, if he wants, a person wants to do that, so be it. But a person has the right to go to sleep. People live in a different apartment, whatever it is, and they, people have to respect your uh, your hours of sleep, and they certainly should not do that. I imagine if you would have told them, they probably would listen to you. But maybe you should have been uh, informed them, maybe to realize what they're doing. But definitely, uh, they should not uh, uh, learn in a way that it's going to uh, disturb other people and stop them from sleeping.